confuse them with your silence. It seems most times the problem we have with ourselves as humans is the problem of saying what is not yet ready to be put forth. We all seem to have this problem, and most times there are countless reasons why we do this, to make people know that we are somebody who also has his own worth. We try to make ourselves look big, try to talk others down, and sometimes gain some respect aggressively, some godlike reverence to ourselves. We're ready to say everything that can be said to have a stand on a position that is of worth and make people see us as important too. And in the process, we say more than we actually should. Have you ever thought of the importance of silence? Have you ever thought of the reason why you have been given two lips and a brain to think? The main reason is for you to know by reasoning the right time to talk and the right time not to. To be able to envisage when our words are needed to be heard and when we are to be silent, even when the situation and circumstances around us seemingly want us to speak out. Yes, life can be a bit complicated and demanding. It can throw you off balance and give you no reason to be logical. However, since you have no control over many situations, you do have control over your own life. Look at yourself more than you look and meditate on others. Saying too much is providing an arsenal for you to get hurt with your words. Being mysterious, on the other hand, makes people go the extra mile to be your friend. You don't want to give them any ammunition to attack. Be still in your conversations and thoughts and keep the people around you guessing. Keep them wondering and looking over their shoulder for you. They will yell at you. You do nothing. You say nothing. They will come calling on you when you do not want. Stay calm. Say nothing. You aren't doing them a favor. You're doing yourself a favor. Hearing nothing from you will give them much to think about when they want to approach you. You become that guy or that girl that makes them feel unsure of themselves. Your silence disrupts their confidence. It breaks their flow of thought regarding you. They just don't know how to get to you anymore. You don't give them any means or a reason to. It's like a man who goes to a party with his friends and doesn't dance. No one is going to laugh at his dance moves. Why? Because he hasn't danced. They will keep coming up with ways to define you just because you never provided them any. Instead of you trying to give reasons as to why you're better and why they are wrong, why not just keep quiet and steadily work toward your dream, bearing in mind that you have a goal better than the circumstances around you. We've heard the popular expression, silence is the best response to a fool. The people around you do not necessarily need to be proven as fools because the whole essence of going down your particular path is for your own sake. Why don't you keep them confused by your silence? Keep them entirely thinking about you while you stay focused on your goals. Nobody is you and that's what makes the difference. The moment you start bearing in mind nobody knows anything about you is the moment you begin to understand that talking to convince people about who you are doesn't really work. You don't need to tell them who you are. Let them find out. Don't give them exactly what they need to say about you. Let them play the guessing game. You do not necessarily need to respond to anything they say if they intend to draw out some negative reaction from you. Just leave them in silence and let your actions do the talking. Smile on and confuse them with your choice of saying nothing. All you're required to do is listen. Listen and let them seek your voice. Let them find it hard to figure you out. What's more fun than giving people virtually nothing revealing about you while you live your life to the fullest? Thanks for watching. Have a great and inspiring day.